the ancient Indus Valley Civilization, one of the oldest civilizations of the world. It flourished in the basins of the Indus and the Ghaggar Hakra rivers between 2600 and 1900 BC. Large, highly developed settlements along the Indus River with its center point of attraction being Harappa and Mohenjo-daro, contemporary to the ancient civilizations of Egypt and Mesopotamia. The civilization is commonly known as the Harappan civilization. After Harappa, the first site to be excavated in the 1920s in what was then the Punjab province of British India and now located in Pakistan. The Harappa site was discovered when the British were building the railway line from the city of Lahore to Karachi. The engineers discovered ruins of an ancient city near the village called Harappa, 260 kilometers from Lahore. The bricks from the ruined city were reduced to ballast for the railway lines. Among the broken bricks, one of the world's most ancient civilizations emerged when seals, pottery and many artifacts from the proto-historic Indus culture were unearthed, whispering a time flashbacking 3,000 years. The discovery of Mohenjo-daro on the banks of Indus or Mound of the Dead was discovered by Rakhal Dash Banerjee, an officer of the Archaeological Survey of India. A historical splendor going back to 3,700 years. While the world was reconciled with the discovery of Harappa and Mohenjo-daro, both designated as UNESCO World Heritage Sites at present, but there remains the yet another little known, the most impressive Harappan site of Tholavira in the greater run of Kutch, Gujarat, India, only a few hundred kilometers from Mohenjo-daro and Harappa. The site was discovered in 1966 by an archaeologist, Mr. J.P. Joshi, and the excavation began only around 1990. The Archaeological Survey of India opines that the discovery of Tholavira has indeed added a new dimension to the Indus Valley civilization, or more precisely, the existence of the Harappans on the east of the Indus on the Indian side of the Indo-Pakistan border in the greater run of Kutch in Gujarat. It is located on the Kadir Island or better known as the Kadir Bet within the desert wildlife sanctuary of the run of Kutch. Area of the site is more than 250 square acres and the ancient city was occupied by the Harappans from 2650 BC, declining slowly after 2100 BC. It was briefly abandoned and reoccupied until 1450 BC. Run of Kutch in Gujarat is the India's Wild West. 
a geographical phenomena full of rustic beauty. Endless desert plains of the salty alluvial mud flats, extensive dry grassland, great stretches of shallow water considered to be the crossroads of pole arctic migration streams witnessing significant waves of migratory birds in winter months turning the water bodies of runoff kutch with pink and white reflection of the drifting flamingos and the pelicans the only place in india where these feathered beauties lay eggs and bring up their chicks Run means salt marsh in Gujarati language. The little run is a birding paradise where the flamingos, pelicans, storks and demoisel cranes migrate to the wetland of the wildlife sanctuary and is also the habitat of the endangered Asiatic wild ass who are able to survive without water in the summer months when the temperature rises about 50 celsius in this plain there are the rubbery tribes who are the nomadic and semi-nomadic pastoralists moving from one place to another carrying their entire household on the camel's back. Their folk art in form of embroidery highlights the traditional Gujarat's Kachi ancient culture going back to the Harappan period of almost 2500 BC. Vira, one of the five largest Harappan cities in the subcontinent so far excavated, yielded many firsts in respect to the Indus Valley civilization. Fourteen field excavation through an enormous deposit caused by the successive settlements at the site for over 1500 years during the third millennium and unto the middle of the second millennium BC have revealed seven significant cultural stages documenting the rise and the fall of the Indus Valley civilization. Such thing have been found in uh, Mohenjo-daro which come from Dholavira. You mean this stone? Yeah, this is the beautiful <laughs> pillar actually, first time found here. The shape of the pillar was like this. These members were available. In the northern gate, which was the much, much sophisticated, it was actually uh, a ramp sort of thing, so that a cart can come. Oh, it's an extraordinary uh, scientific. 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 Sophisticated. Sophisticated. And also bringing to light a major model city, exquisitely planned, monuments, aesthetic architecture, and amazing water harvesting systems. With the help of bulls or they camel, like, uh, they were water. lifting water and, then pouring, and into pouring into that and filling those things. Okay. It also enjoys the unique distinction of yielding an inscription made up of 10 large sized signs of the Indus script, which is yet to be deciphered. Dhola Vira city demonstrates the ancient principles of town planning and architecture with mathematical precision and astronomical orientation. Of the city at present, three corners with partially eroded towers 
but fully intact inner corners have been confirmed by excavation. The Harappans of Tholavira were excellent water management specialists and their engineers displayed city planning brilliance in every corner of the city. 16 or more reservoirs of different sizes were created on all four sides of the Tholavira city. Here we have got series of reservoir partially rock cut and partially uh, masonry built. They all, what they did, they scooped out the rock and used the rock as the uh, container of the reservoir. I made it with this and see the, they did not waste much uh, uh, raw material and wherever the rock is solid, they put the wall on the top of it. And then the, every reservoir has a different use. There you can see the ramp going down to the reservoir bottom. It means they were actually drawing water with the help of cart or something. So we feel that that was for the industrial use they were making the use that reservoir. Yet another most important Harappan site in the state of Gujarat is the ancient port city of Lothal, close to the Gulf of Kambat, which became the most important trade route from Dholavira to the Persian Gulf through the Arabian Sea. The unique dockyard with the inlet channel connected through a tributary of the Sabarmati River made Lothal the most important trading center. The warehouses with its fortified township, the acropolis within the town indicate the sophisticated planning of the habitation during 2000 BC. The lower town reveals the presence of considerable industrial activity dealing with beads of semi-precious stones, shells and metal crafts. More than 3,000 years have passed, yet we can witness the civilization looking through the artifacts discovered in the city of Lothal, another important destination for the travelers to Gujarat. Vida has indeed added a new dimension to the Harappan civilization within the Indian territories. To pay a tribute to this lost civilization, the government of India should take up with the UNESCO to declare Tholavira as a world heritage site. Tholavira the civilization of the ultimate Harappans, echoing all-round architectural and engineering excellence. While exploring the run of Kutch Trail, Dholavira should be the final destination of all travelers 
to witness the most vibrant prehistoric civilization that existed in the region.